What's going on YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. Alright, I got another tutorial for you guys today. Make sure before the video ends, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you click the bell so every time I drop the latest content, you guys are aware and you can check the video out. Okay? Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if I haven't said that as well. Now, you guys know I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, baby. Let's go. Alright, now today... Uh, since you know hoodie season is upon us, you know I'm playing around with some different designs and um, fonts and stuff like that. Now I'm kind of trying to design this hoodie. Uh, I'm kind of stuck at the moment, but I'm gonna pull myself together and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, bring you guys through this creative process that I go through every time I'm trying to come up with a design. All right. Now I'm just using a basic. Uh, let me move this out of here this is a basic uh, template that I use every now and then you know just a heaven gray sweatshirt you know that I found on um, Google that I use sometimes as a reference when I'm trying to come up with an actual uh, design alright so I got these Chanel font letters that I've been playing with I really like this color scheme right here with this letter D with the baby blue uh, lime green with the black border now you know if I wanted to just use this D by itself just dead smack in the middle of the sweatshirt that's fine you know that looks cool you know it's a little basic some people like basic but you know I like to take things over the top so I was playing with let me bring this down. I was playing with this C as well, you know, to go with, you know, the D, you know, just to two letters, you know, from uh, the beginning of my brand name, you know, direction, choose your own path for those that are new to the channel and that don't know. My brand name is direction, choose your own path. And you can find me, you know, at www.directioncyop.com all right now moving right along now you know i was playing with you know the c and the d and you know changing different sizes of the letters and stuff like that you know if i blended them something you know like this that's cool it's okay or you know i lined them up side by side that looked pretty cool as well. It's okay. Then, you know, I flipped the letter C around and, you know, just to, you know, add a, a different type of style to it just to see how things would look. That's not bad either. All right, so let's just play with this for a little while. Let's just leave it like this for a minute. All right, now, normally I put something on the sleeve, so I'm just going to go here. So I'm just going to go up here to file, go to open. All right, and just scroll through some of my designs. Now what I'm looking for is my standard all white uh, DCYLP font that I use on some of my garments. I throw it on like the sleeves or the wrists of some of the pieces. And here it is right here. So let's open that. Yes. Do we want to add this to the current design? Just click on yes. All right, so it's in white uh, color. Um, excuse me, it's in black color. So we're just going to change that to white. Shrink it down to size. And throw it on the right wrist. Okay. Like so. Right, a lot of my hoodies I do this. I do this with. Just to always have. You know my DCYLP acronym on, a, on the piece. Simple. Alright now that adds a little spice to it. What you guys think? So we're looking pretty good. Okay, let me just line this up a little more. All right. Now, 
if I wanted to put something on uh, the left sleeve or the left wrist, normally I would go with my woven patch. So let's go to open. Let's find that thing. You know, just to see how it would look. Designs in here. Okay. Here it is. Let's just open this one. Oh, this is one of them. Okay. Yes. Okay. Delete a few things off of it. Measurements I use. I would just grab it bring it over here shrink it down this size tilt it line it all up mm. how sweet is that now if I do plan on going with you know this particular design I got options now, as far as the chest, I could go full plastic sole transfer on the chest, which would be the cheaper route, or I could just go ahead and get these, you know, Chanel, Chanel uh, letters uh, manufactured, and depending on how many sets I want, will determine, you know, what the price would be. Okay, I'm just going to bring this down the size a little bit. So it looks something like this. All right, if I wanted to go with that concept. Now, let's take the letter C and flip it back around. Like even that. That's cool. You know, have both the letters going in the same direction. I like that too. Or if we took the DCYOP. Change the color on the right sleeve to black. I like that too. That's cool. Or you know, change it to lime green. That's cool. I like that. You know, so we have options. You know, and this is what I go through anytime. You know, I'm I'm trying to design you know, a, a new garment or, what, or whatever. So, um, you know, in the past, let me just duplicate this DC YLP real quick. In the past, I've even thrown something on the hood like this. DC YLP. So this is this is this is my whole creative process that I go through when I'm designing something. All right, you just play with stuff until you know you feel like, all right, I finally got it. Let me just go ahead and do what I have to do to get the supplies and get these things either manufactured or get them. You know, take the time and press them up myself. Now, I'm really liking this, so I might put this in into production. Now, when I say production, uh, I might do these myself, all right? Now, I have, I already have the plastic salt transfers for the DCYLP, and I already have some um, woven patches in stock. The only thing I don't have is the chest piece. So I might go ahead and you know get this get this chest piece made up via super color or whoever whoever you know uh, gives me the best price for what I'm trying to do. All right. Now over here in the cut, 
you know, I got something just basic too. You know, let me just blow it up. Even this, this is nice, smooth. You know, just this basic red, white, and blue D. That's hard body to me, I think. All right. But something like what we got going on over here just, mm, just stands out more. All right. So, like I always say, you know, with this creative process, man, just, you know, just do what works for you. You know, go with your gut. And um, if you're going to be making them yourself, you know, just make sure uh, you're using, you know, your research, you're using your resources, excuse me, uh, to the best of your ability. You know, you always want to go works with what works best for you in your pockets all right that way you can make uh, a larger amount of profit on the back end so i'm gonna leave you guys with that i'm gonna keep playing around with this thing like i said make sure you guys like comment and subscribe uh i'll let your boy know if you like this video let me know if you didn't like this video. Once again, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And like I always say, choose your own path, baby. Let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.